So this is the build tool from Google AI Studio. I would say this is the perfect middle ground between the simple canvas mode from Gemini and also the very complicated typical code editors like the cursor or Windsor AI. So overall, it is a fantastic place for anyone who wants to create an app, especially an app that is being powered by some models like the Gemini model, the Imagine model, Vio, Lyria, and many others. So in this tutorial, I'll show you how you can create a simple app using Google Ads Studio build tool but we are also going to be using a tool called Google Stitch for creating a beautiful UI. So here's how we can get started. First, let's navigate to stitch.withgoogle.com and I will provide the link in the video description. So this tool is still experimental and basically with this tool, we can create a concept design that looks a lot prettier compared to if you are just letting Gemini to create the app for you. So generally speaking, if you're creating an app using Gemini, especially via the build tool in Google Air Studio, you are going to be seeing an, a tool, uh, sorry, an app that look like this. So it has this black background and there is the gradient text. And this is true. I have seen many people actually creating an app using this problem and the result is almost always similar. So we want to have something that looks way better than that. And, that, and therefore we are going to be using Google Stitch. Now here, I'm going to be using this simple prompt to create the UI. Remember, it is not creating the app. It is still only creating the UI. And after that, I will select the web mode. Now, you can change between standard to experimental mode, but I do recommend to use standard at the moment. It is much more consistent and stable. And now when you're done with the prompt and with the settings, just click generate designs and just wait for this tool to turn your prompt into a beautiful design that later we can import into Google Air Studio. And I'll be back in a second. All right, I eventually settled with this design, even though it is not my original plan to have a mobile design, but I guess it's okay for now. At least the app is still the same. Now we need to get the code for this design. And to do that, you can click this code icon and then you can click copy code. And we have to download this code as a .txt file. And the simplest way to do that is by using Google Docs. So let's navigate to docs.google.com and let's click blank document. Let's call this document UI design for app. And I'm going to just paste the whole code right here. Let's click file, click download, and then click plain text.txt there you go now let's navigate to aistudio.google.com and log in with your google account and on the left side menu you can click the build menu right here and then you can describe what is the app that you want to create and by the way you can see some examples that were created particularly using this tool you can check it out but let's just focus creating a new new app here so i'm going to just click this button add files and then upload text file which is the file that we just created for uh, sorry from the google speech platform let's select that file click open and I will actually use the same prompt that I use for creating the UI in Google Stitch. So I'm going to just copy this prompt, which is to create an app to produce some synonym that is being powered by the Gemini AI. So let me just copy and paste it and just send the message. And now just wait for this AI tool to actually create the app that you just designed using Google Stitch and also based on the prompt that you just provided. And I'll be back in a second. Okay, so the app has been created and this is the result. It's not exactly the same, but overall the structure is still very similar to the design that was created in Google Stitch. Now, let me try using the app. So I'm going to enter a word like confusing. And it should be giving me some synonyms because it is being powered by some AI model, which is the Gemini model. And there you go. So there is perplexing, bewildering, disorienting, unclear, etc. So yeah, I would say the app is definitely working. And of course, it's going to be saved automatically into your Google Air Studio account. So if you go back to build menu again, in, 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 and if you go to your apps, you'll see the app that you just created, which is Synonym Finder. You can open it. And of course, it will show you the same app again. 
Now you can download the app, you can download the whole code base, you can also just send it to GitHub, you, want, you can save it as a repo in GitHub, or you can just share it. And now anyone can actually use the app that you just created. So if I copy the link, and if I open a new tab, anyone can now enjoy the app that you just created using Google AI Studio. So that's basically how you can create a beautiful looking app using the build tool from Google AI Studio and also with the help of Google Stitch. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video.